Yes, I have an idea for a story and I want to write it down. Or I keep um, pencils, colouring pencils and paper in case I want to draw a picture. Who likes drawing pictures? No, no, no grown-ups ever put their hands up. Come on. Everybody can draw. Everyone can draw. So I keep colouring pencils and paper in there. Here I am at the Museum of Somerset. Um, one of the primary venues for visitors coming from the project. A busy museum in the centre of a county town um, full of youngsters, old people, all sorts of people are visiting our museum today. I'm here at the Museum of Somerset with a special installation based on my new book, The Museum of Marvellous Things, which is all about the magic of imagination and creativity, which I think is absolutely vital to everybody. It's so much fun to, to make things, to um, realise that there are no wrongs or no rights, it's just whatever you want to do with creativity, and it's something that you can do together as a family. So this is, well, this is my trowel, and it name is green because obviously I've got the green theme and I and I really like the February top because it makes a nice detail. So our project has been to try and get new audiences to visit our various sites around the town of Taunton. Um, we appreciate that people have suffered a lot during the Covid pandemic and the initial idea of the project was to bring people in who are still struggling financially struggling with getting out and about, mixing again. Um, but we soon realised over the six months of creating the project that there were, there were, new, there were new challenges for people in the country. Um, the economic crisis had, had cut in really sharply. Um, and we've got visitors from, from abroad, the Ukrainian refugees here. So the project has sort of developed and met people um, who are in most need at this particular time. Uh, we're currently in a noisy room at the moment doing arts and crafts so this morning we've been making paper puppets and doing a puppet show. They've had lots of fun, they've not stopped smiling, um, just doing lots of family things and spending time together. We didn't pay to come here, we had a donation through the food bank um, because obviously the cost of living going up so having it even if we had to pay for it it was affordable and having it cheaper and affordable for families to do it means they get to come out and we get to do fun things. Oh, it's what a wonderful day. Let's, oh, what a wonderful day. Let's play. Hello. Oh, no. Ah! So what I like to do is show people that you can do an awful lot with not very much. So maybe found objects, things you've got around the house, pebbles that you find in the park, feathers, paper, anything. And using your imagination, you can turn ordinary everyday objects into wonderful things. It's cheap, it's often free, um, and the impact is wonderful. And then you've got something you can treasure forever, something that you've made, you've created, and you can put on display, show your friends, do all sorts of things with it. So when I went to the museum, I dressed up as a Roman, and it was really fun, because I thought it was like going back in time, which would be one of my favourite superpowers if I had it. You can get free vouchers to Taunton Museum, which is around in the area, and you can find old ancient swords that the people used to make. There's a wooden one. You can find little eggs from rare birds. You can find a castle. It's around this area, it's Taunton Castle. When I went to the museum, I was actually very surprised how it was like really full of interesting facts, like about Stone Age hammers, ammonites. You can also find eggs, you can find old bicycles, the one with the big and little wheels. So one of the important parts of our project was trying to reach people out in the local community um, who would really benefit from a heritage experience. And that's not only the lovely things that we have on offer, galleries, exhibitions, tours, events, but it's also the well-being benefits of visiting a museum. It's the fact that people can have a safe space. It's the fact that people can meet other people. They can meet friends. They can get together. They can socialise. And they can experience some sort of knowledge of belonging, of becoming um, part of their local community and understanding what their history is all about. We have um, an amazing museum. This is only, you know, about 15, 20 minutes away from home, um, but it is ideal because it covers everything. And I do actually say, yes, please do bring your children. 
because they will love it. And it's also handy for everybody to all come together and learn as one great big massive group. And it is perfect to have for the community as well as the home education factor as well. Pause, 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 pause. Can I go to the play area over there? I don't think that's supposed to be him with the can I, can I go into the play area? Discussion. Can I go to the play okay, area? Okay, yes, Thank you. go. <laughs> As you can tell, <laughs> very unpredictable children, but all the same, love them to bits, love the museum, he loves the museum, and when they did have the Raymonds there, he did have the, um, the sword, and he was fighting against one of the... Uh, one of the staff obviously that was dressed up in the Roman gear which was really quite nice and entertaining at the same time so yes it's, it's all joyous for the museum to be here and for everybody to participate in all the events all of the courses as well as taking an interest of all of the artifacts that is actually available at the, at the museum itself. So our local partners have been people who are already working um, with people in the community who are struggling. We've been able to get and been kindly invited to organisations such as Taunton Food Bank. We've been involved with a lot of community groups in the town. Um, and we've been involved with a lot of church groups as well. So we've been expanding our partners, working with them so we can actually reach people right on the ground and distribute some opportunities to the people who really needed it. And the important thing is that we've been able to meet those people face to face and we've been able to explain to them what we have on offer and how it can, how it can just enrich their lives. Okay, so today is my first day at the Museum of Somerset. Um, today I've bought a pony, a donkey, two goats and two rabbits. So we have found over the years that being around animals, goats, donkeys and ponies is very calming for your soul. So here we are at Taunton Food Bank. Uh, this is one of the partners that we've been working with on the Together Again project. They've been kind enough to invite us in right from the start, six months ago. Um, and when people coming in, getting their food, getting ready to pack it away, we've then had an opportunity to offer them some of the cultural experiences that we have on offer. We've been offering training to our front of house staff, the people that really meet the people on a day-to-day -day basis. We've had some great training offered and it's been there to guide our staff into how to deal with new audiences, how, how, you know, how to deal with people that you wouldn't normally have coming through our doors at a museum or a heritage centre. And that's been really important and it's been quite emotive training and quite thoughtful training. I'm here at the Museum of Sunset this morning and we're taking part in a free craft activity. Um, it's great fun for adults and children. Everything's included. Uh, you get to take it home at the end, you get to film your little video at the theatre and you get to meet the author, so it's great value. And then also afterwards we're going to do the trail around the museum, which was only a pound, uh, which again is great value and low cost. We think everyone can afford that uh, and everyone can take part. So we have this amazing system of roller racking. So all these shelves and things can be slid up, tightened together, so that you can fit in an enormous amount of things in a very small space. Really useful these are, absolutely fantastic. They're also useful because they keep things tight and together, keep the dust out, keep the light out, everything else. So they're brilliant. I really enjoyed it, loved it. In fact, lived in Taunton all my life and this is the first time I've seen this. Really informative. I just loved all the pictures on the wall actually. They were really interesting and to see how much work is done in the background as well and how much they've got, which we never see. So we've been working with Exeter University to measure the success of the project. We've been using lots of methods of recording people's experiences that we've managed to invite to our museums. Um, and we've been looking at some of the practitioners that have been taking part delivering to, the, to those audiences, how it's been for them working with potentially new audiences that they wouldn't normally work with. And we're going to really look quite carefully at that data, how people have had the good experience, how people have you know, been able to interact with our staff, and we're going to try and build that in to our offer in the future. This is my puppet. A social prescribing project, a pilot like this, 
is really important. And we've been trying out lots of different methods, lots of different ways of trying to reach people, uh, lots of different marketing ways. And that is really important that we try and work on the successes and the failures of this project as well, so that we can embed a really strong social prescribing agenda into everything we do in the future. So I'm looking forward to seeing how the project goes, looking at the evaluation and seeing what we can do next year. Thank you.